Welcome to Mentoring Mondays. It's great to be with you again at the start of another working week. And today I've got a little bit of a challenge. I know this is Mentoring Monday, so in a sense, I'm trying to help you in your leadership and in the different things that you do in the working world and in the Christian world. And so I've chosen a verse that is a little bit challenging. Right here in James chapter 3, it says in verse 1, My brethren, let not many of you become teachers, knowing that we shall receive a stricter judgment. Well, that really is a challenge. But James is pretty much my favourite book in the New Testament. It always used to fall out of my Bible first because I'd preach on it so much. And, you know, right now I find so many things in there that really speak to my heart. It is an incredibly practical book. I know Luther didn't have much regard for it because he didn't see it as a book of faith. But actually it really is a book of faith. It's about putting your faith into practice. And right here, when James is speaking to teachers and saying, let not many of you become teachers, it's quite consistent, actually, with the way that Paul talks about eldership in the church. You know, when you're reading those passages where he's talking about eldership, he says, whoever desires eldership desires a good thing. Not actually saying it's a good thing that he desires it. He's saying it's a good thing. Teaching is a, a great thing. It's great to be able to teach the word of God. But just to be able to de desire it and say, that's what I want to do. I want to be known out there as this big teacher. That really is missing the heart of it. So I really appreciate what James is doing here. He's saying, this isn't something you should take lightly. This isn't a reputation building thing where you're trying to collect a group of people around you. Oh, the great teacher. This is something you've got to be careful about because you're going to be judged more strictly because you're teaching others and what you teach them is what they follow. So I really love what James is saying. He's saying, look, check your calling out. And if that is your calling and, and God does want us to be able to share the word with other people, then make sure you do it in a way that brings honor to God's name. This isn't about building your reputation. It's about effectively communicating the word of God. So we need to get to know the scriptures and we need to share the scriptures and get beyond just sharing our own opinions and try and bring it down to the authentic word of God that we've compared scripture with scripture and we're trying to be as effective and faithful as possible to the word of God. So strict judgment, yeah, but a great honor. Thanks for watching. If you've been watching on Facebook, hit the like button. If you've been watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.